You tell anybody about our little secret? I am right. shocked. We reward you for your deepest, darkest secrets. 888-787-1933. Or just the funniest one. Doesn't even have to be that dark or that serious. But you did something and you're like, I got to tell somebody. This is too funny. Change your name. Change uh, where you're from. Whatever you want to change. Okay? Uh, 888-787-1933. Let's get into him. George, out in Carrollton. What's your secret, George? Hey, guys. I, uh... Actually, I show cheated, and now I'm lying to my wife about seeing Game of Thrones. Oh, this is a big time. deal. This is a really yeah. big deal. What do you mean by show cheated, though, at Game of Thrones? Well, I watched it when she was out of town one week. And you were supposed and, to watch it together? Well, we had, we had mentioned it. It was never like, we're definitely doing this. You realize uh, you already know that she wanted to watch it with you because you've called to say that this is a secret you're holding on to, knowing you're going to get in trouble yeah, for this. Right. That's Got true. It. That's true. That's true. Okay. Was it just so one episode or was you watched like the whole thing and now you guys are like, she's just starting Game of Thrones from the beginning and she doesn't know you've seen this show before? Yeah, I've seen the first two seasons at this point. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just they, they, you know, flow into each other. So, it, you yeah. know, it's pretty good. So, anyways, now I'm just like, I guess keep guessing what happened. And she <laughs> now thinks like I'm a genius. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I knew the Lannisters were going to do this. I knew yeah. it. That's so... F <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, man. Eventually, she's going to catch on. You better get start getting uh, some wrong, man. No, but, I, but the thing is, I'm still, I'm like headed towards season three, and we're like halfway through. Stop, man. Pump the brakes, bro. I was just going to say, are you going to continue to keep going? Are you going to watch well, season three and four without her? And can keep... I don't want to know what happens. And she's too slow. And she, you know, <laughs> she's home late from work. So we can only yeah. usually like watch one or two episodes a week. I, George, thank you so much for your call. I appreciate it. Good luck, dude. Yeah, you got it, guys. You know, I get it because uh, Orange is the New Black. At, you know, I get it because Orange is the New Black came out while my girlfriend was out of town. And she made it really clear. Do not. Don't you dare. Don't even think about watching this without me. And if for whatever reason I did, I, I would not say anything. But I didn't. I swear, babe, if you're listening, I didn't. I'm watching with you right now. Flora, let's move on. Uh, you're on Plano Flora. What is your secret? Okay, so my kid brought home the hamster from class. And we lost him. So I went and I bought a hamster that looked really similar to him and sent him back to class. And so far, nobody has noticed. <gasps> the bait and switch. So like it's like, yeah. like a class pet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The class hamster that all the kids take home and play with. Well, you're we good. You're not going to get busted. They're n there's no way they're going to catch you. School's out. You made it through the year. <laughs> you're, you're good. Yeah. You're golden. That's true. Until the fall. Let me ask you this. Does your kid know? Um, yeah, no, he knows. Oh, so he was in on the crime. Yeah, we're, we lost them together. Yeah, yeah way, to, yeah, way yeah. to lead your kid down a, a, a path of lying and crime. Teaching them young, teaching them young. Listen, my son is eight, year old, eight, eight years old, and I'll, I won't tell him a secret that I don't want people to know, because I think it comes out no matter what. But I think like, if you come back out. next year, you're like, yeah, that hamster we lost, what are they going to do, write you up next? For no, like, you, but you, if the other parents find out what you did, do you think that they will either be like, hey, mom of the year, or do you think they'll judge you and be like, oh my God, what a terrible human yeah they'll probably judge me and say i'm a terrible human but uh we will see all right he's gonna go back to school there's gonna be like a pet snake and you're like no you're not bringing that home eh? lose <laughs> that's funny i'll eat the hamster oh god yeah the pet the snake will find the hamster great no no good flora thank you so much for calling Thank you for having me. You clean out your closet, DFW's darkest secrets. All right, Steve and Grapevine, what's your secret, my man? Uh, so I lied to my wife about how her dog died about seven years ago. <laughs> I told my wife that our dog Carter just got out into the yard and just ran away, but actually I was throwing the ball for him, and it went into the street, and he got hit by a car. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. And I mean, I never told her because I was afraid that she would never forgive me, and she was, like, putting up these missing dog posters and everything. Oh, no. Oh, that's, yeah. like, the saddest imagery ever. Is she really, like, she's a super dog person, isn't she? Like, she loves that dog clearly more than you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, where, where could he be? I'm like, oh, I have no idea, you know? Dude, I'm going to go. I, this might be an unpopular opinion. But I, Steve, I think you did the right thing. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. I think if 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 I was in your situation, my girlfriend loves that dog. If, if that happened to Darla and I was responsible for it, and I wanted to keep her, but I'm Steve's lying, not man. responsible. It's not your fault. Don't let Scotty. He make threw you the play. ball into the street. That's his fault. Yeah, I, uh, dude, trust Sometimes me. Sometimes balls get away. They bounce. Steve, don't don't feel bad. Steve, you did what it takes to keep I your girl. That. I respect that. Yeah. I'm on I'm on team Steve for this one. It might be an unpopular decision. You're blaming Steve for the dog's death. Yeah, it's not your fault, Steve. No, Steve. It's it's your fault, but you made the right choice. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take it. All right, Steve. Thanks for your secret, buddy. Th thanks, man.
You tell anybody about our little secret? I am shocked. Steve not only values his relation, but his life too. <laughs> Is that his fault though? Oh, super his fault.